Thank you, John. And not only for being the dinner sponsor tonight, but also for all your support and being on the, the board of Catalyst for so many years. It's great to have you as a colleague there. Now, let, let me again welcome all of you on behalf of Catalyst's board of directors, also on behalf of the Catalyst staff. I would like to thank you to, to have joined us tonight to show your dedication and also help us actually to sponsor all the work which we do for year in and year out. Now tonight, for the first time in the 30-year history of the Catalyst Award, we have the honor of recognizing a national leader, the Right Honorable Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada. Now this event tonight comes at a very important moment. Just a few days ago, we celebrated the International Women's Day. The theme for this year's campaign was Pledge for Parity, a call for each of us to do our part and make a personal commitment to support gender equality. We all know, as John also said, that when leaders make a commitment, people do listen. And when someone in the public eye chooses to spotlight an issue, they have the power to inspire others to act. And there is no better example than Prime Minister Trudeau's pledge to appoint a gender-balanced cabinet. <laughs> but what was very striking for me personally as well is his simple explanation for the decision. He just said, because it's 2015. This has echoed around the world and reminds us all that the time for excuses has really passed. Now, I personally had the privilege to see the power of this message when I met the Prime Minister a few weeks ago in Davos earlier this year. He made the very important link between diversity and then economic competitiveness and understand something that Catalyst Research has told us for years. What's good for women is good for businesses, societies, and economies. But the Prime Minister has gone further. He also knows that simply changing the numbers is not enough. Cultural change is needed so that government and politics become more welcoming of women and minorities. He has brought a new positive tone to politics. He is looking at ways to make Parliament, the workplace for Canadians, Canada's government, more flexible so that working parents can better manage their responsibilities at work and at home, something which we all struggle. And in appointing a cabinet that is not only gender balanced, but also represents the ethnic, religious, and regional diversity of Canada, has told all Canadians, and many also abroad, that they too can aspire to the most senior roles in the country. Prime Minister, you have offered the world a powerful lesson in intentional leadership, a lesson that challenges leaders in all sectors to do more. On behalf of the Catalyst Board of Directors and the Catalyst staff, I'm very proud to recognize you with a special commendation for your leadership, 
in advancing diversity and gender equality. And I would like to invite you to join me at the podium with another very famous um, Canadian, our CEO and President Deborah Chills. <laughs> 